Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Suicide Squad Isekai episode number 9 reaction. Okay, the previous episode, um, things went in a very bad direction. Uh, like the, you know, the squad was brought in front of the queen and uh, the queen deliberately made that one guy, you know, to go overboard and he literally slapped Harley at which Nanoe ate him in front of everyone which escalated into him getting captured and others getting thrown out so obviously the situation is not good everyone's pissed because you know we helped you guys do or helped you guys try to take back the 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 the, the force and everything and this is what you give us so you know like the the squad isn't happy and they have like a little bit of a, a tavern brawl as well like fighting in the tavern and they go out and uh, later on talk with amanda and amanda like literally blows up clayface uh, but he, obviously he's clay, so he comes back and uh, later on, you know, they like ask for like a last chance to go and take care of the situation. So Amanda's like, all right, 24 hours, I'll give you. I think she gave them 24 hours or something like that. Um, and while all of this was happening, in the end, we get to see that the queen is actually not the queen. I wasn't able to properly see what was going on because you know, the brightness was very, you know, like dark. Um, but someone in the comments let me know that yeah, it is indeed not the queen. In the reflection, there's like a some kind of a like a weird type of a monster, like a skeletal monster there, and the princess saw that. So you know, which would answer a lot of questions why she is acting like this. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens today, episode nine. I'll be putting subtitles and the timer here. Sync it whichever is your preference, and let's begin. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, whose statue is this? Oh, it's, it's a knight. Right. Oh, all right, here we go. Huh. Oh um, my, what the hell? Yeah, he's putting. Great. Yeah, I don't think he cares. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh. Yeah, you better run. Don't stay there. Wait. Oh my god. There's more of them. Oh, bruh. Oh no, those are mirrors, okay. Ah, that is why. Wow. Um, I don't think you can do anything. Yeah. Shots, but <clears throat> oh, is that him? Uh, what's his name? Cecil. 
Yep. Hmm. Ah, she's like, yeah. Let's bring out my real. Damn. Is she the succubus? What is she? Or like a mare or something? Undead king. Oh. Oh boy. So she's like a lich or something, you know. Oh, she's teleporting, yep. Oh no, wait, what's he doing? Yeah, he's running away. Smart, smart decision. Great. I don't think that's going to help with that one. Oh, what is that? I just realized his voice act his voice is Subaru's voice from ReZero, isn't it? No no sorry, Kazuma's voice. So not Subaru, sorry, uh, Kazuma from Konosuba. God damn. Oh the baseball bat. Where's Cecil? Hmm. Bro, shut up. This dumbass thinks he, he's... Oh! <laughs> he got scared from... <laughs> he got scared. Yeah, man, smack him! Yes, thank you! Yay! Take, take out the helmet first. Take out the helmet. Okay, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> yep, I can hear it now. It's freaking Kazuma. Yes, yes, come on, more, more. <laughs> this guy annoyed me so much throughout this whole show. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, she's like a... Oh. Yep, yeah, so she's a lich, basically, you know, kind of, you know, like, that's why they called her like the undead king or something. I don't know why, but her character design reminds me of someone.
Mbak. Oh, this is. <laughs> They're like, wait, who's this? <laughs> the hell is that? Oh my god. Yeah. Damn! Hey, move! Oh, oh where? Okay. Wow. Okay, the castle is going down. Oh, this thing. Oh, wait. Um, Nana is going to come. I think because of water and then this guy is here so Nana is going to come oh there he is I knew it like he was captured in the castle so you know easy for him to get out <laughs> all right And that that's not her. Um Wait, is he mistaken? That's Harley, I think. Mr. Fit Oh yeah, I'm mistaken. <laughs> oh my god, he got distracted. I don't know. Like Oh my god, this thing is here. <sighs> oh, I was wondering, this was a great position to snipe someone. She's just... <laughs> She's just standing in the open. <laughs> well, we have a sniper with us. I don't think these things will help. He can literally shoot you now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bruh, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> yo, the education system has failed her. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah. Damn. You're fighting in the fountain. <laughs> yeah. Because she will she will obviously be the <laughs> she will be the person who who takes charge of this kingdom later. Right. And it'll be easy for her with... Her oh no, she doesn't have a baseball bat. I was gonna say. Right. She's like, you're hiding this. <laughs> yeah. Well... <laughs>
God damn. Oh, she got a pistol. I guess, obviously, she's. Wow, imagine dodging bullets like that. Oh, that's her name. Enchantress. <clears throat> What will happen? She has something like a hostage or something. She's, she's the one actually who saved them, if you remember. She's the one who stopped the bullets. At least that's what I think. <clears throat> hmm. What the? Oh, it's her tiara, I think. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wait, wasn't she he going to go and save? <laughs> God damn, peacekeeper. <laughs> right. Oh, oh my God, Katana's here. Where's Harley? <laughs> Damn. Okay, no, so Harley's gonna be fighting Enchantress, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, there's a bigger one! What the hell? Where did this thing come from? Oh boy. Yo, okay, this thing is a weird squid octopus kind of thing. Yo, <laughs> bruh, that was some crazy, crazy teamwork. Oh boy, Leviathan. Yeah. Oh, Peacekeeper is here. Yeah! Wait! <laughs> Yo! Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Oh my god. The whole building. The hell is happening here? Oh my god. Right. You got so easily defeated. <laughs> no, you're clay. You'll be fine. What? What is happening here? Oh, what the? Oh, wait, it's Arthur. Damn, he grew grew big. <laughs> Yeah, if you can recognize her or him. Yep. <laughs> well, mold.
Okay. Damn. Yeah, this will be more trouble. For her. I feel like one whack and her shield won't hold. Her barrier. Damn. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, in zombie type situations, melee weapons are better. <laughs> Yo. So, oh, she, she wants to whack her. Wait, what's happening? What? What is that? Oh yeah, this thing, she... <laughs> um... What? That works? Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh no, it won't work! I damn! Yeah. You know what the thing is? She could have dodged that, but she didn't realize that her barrier won't be able to protect her. That's why she didn't dodge. If she dodged it, she could have probably got saved. Hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, you, you can take care of them. There's too many of them. Oh! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! Hey! Oi! Stop! Yo, imagine a knight dual wielding guns. He's like, ah, yeah, this, this is something. <laughs> yeah. Bro, one hand gun, one hand sword. <laughs> Wildest combinations. Damn. Ooh. Exactly, because he's, she technically saved us before. Yeah, there you go. What? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, like the, the the queen was saying something. Not queen, that 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 monster thing. Yeah. Is that his si her sister or something? Sister. <laughs> okay, so wait, so Katana brought them here, like lured them here. So the, interesting. Okay, that's it. So yeah, like I can understand what's going on. So basically, they were working for, you know, the, the queen, not the queen, but you know, you know what I mean, who I mean. They were working for her because she had like, I think like their comrades in hostage. And that is why Enchantress and Katana didn't kill um, the Suicide Squad because they thought they could be potential allies in the future. You know, like, enemy of my enemy is an ally kind of situation. And that's why Katana, like, lured them out here. Or, I don't know, maybe something like that.
And there you go, that was today's episode. Right, so today's episode was basically um, fighting against the person or the, the lich who was posing as the queen. And, uh, you know, a lot of things happen. Uh, for example, the princess, she decides to be more, um, I guess you could say, free. She decides to go all out, like, you know, like she was suppressing herself up until now, all that stuff. Um, and then the whole section in the end where um oh arthur comes to save harley not only that um the section in the end where um enchantress it's it, we get to see that enchantress was actually is actually working for them because someone is being taken as hostage and since this girl looks so much like enchantress i'm assuming that's either her sister or her mother something like that probably sister um right and uh, yeah that's what's going on over here um so first and foremost like i said the whole situation with enchantress and katana at first i thought maybe enchantress is the only one who's been taken as host uh, you know something has been taken as hostage that's why she they cannot stop the bullet because she thought maybe this will pay off in the future maybe the suicide squad will become you know not their allies but you know again like i said enemy of your enemy is your ally that type of ally she maybe thought that they might be useful later on. That's why she saved them. Um, so that's the first. That's what I thought at first, and I still think that. But then also the fact that even Katana was the one who technically lured in um, what's his name, Clayface, and uh, wait, who was with Clayface? Was it Rick? It was Rick? Was it? yeah, Rick and Clayface to um. To, to that part where where enchantress that girl who looks like enchantress she's being like held so then i was now i'm thinking like wait so she was she also trying to use the suicide squad to you know like for the, for this situation as well that's why he she didn't kill uh, clayface back then or attack clayface when she had ample opportunity she just ran away and lured them here you know so probably so let's let's see i i do wonder you know uh like what the and, and then another thing i'm thinking like it's i, I think it's like i'm like 50 percent sure that enchantress and uh, katana they obviously are working together on this you know otherwise why would um katana lure them here to to this part but then i'm thinking thinker remember thinker he i'm assuming he probably was the a person who probably didn't share the same sentiments as enchantress and katana that is why katana when gotten the opportunity got rid of him if you remember so thinker's situation was different i think yeah i'm pretty sure so I think this is what's going on basically in the other squad in the other group who are working for the enemy there was like a few people who didn't really care all they wanted was power for example thinker and i'm guessing rat catcher as well because rat catcher situation i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm assuming rat catcher was also like thinker who just wanted to cause chaos and when he came across um <clears throat> um dead shot he, you know, because of his previous experiences, he, he became like, you know, like obsessed with revenge and tried to get him. And, and then he himself, you know, like, yeah, got got killed by the end of it. Um, I'm not sure about Ratcatcher, though, because I guess if I think about it properly, Katana was the one who saved Ratcatcher. So who knows? Not sure about Ratcatcher. But I think Thinker at least had his own plans and he 
you know, he, he literally didn't care about the whole situation. That's why when got the opportunity, Katana got rid of him. And then we have Enchantress and Katana, who I think both of them are working together. And both of them want to save um, this person who looks a lot like Enchantress. And she's been taken as a hostage. So that's why they are currently helping out this lich. You know, otherwise she would harm her. Um, and that is also why um, <clears throat> Enchantress, when Tinker shot, um, you know, in, the, in that episode when he, he shot them, the Suicide Squad, she protected them because she thought or she took a gamble and she was like, okay, let me save them for now. Maybe these guys will become potential allies in the future in my goal of saving this person. Um, something like that. And now we are here. And now taking this opportunity, Katana lured in um, Clayface and Rick in this plot part so that they can do something about this situation. And Harley also now knows after he got, she got hold of Enchantress. Now Harley also realized, Harley and Deadshot, that someone has been taken as a hostage. That's why she's acting like this. At least that's what I think. Let's wait. Next episode will be the final episode, episode number 10. So I'm guessing everything will be explained then. <clears throat> that was, you know, that was one part that I wanted to discuss about. The other part that I wanted to discuss about was obviously um, the princess. So the princess, after realizing that his, the, his, her mother is not her mother, you know, so that's not the queen, that's some random ass monster, you know. And uh, so obviously she runs away and she's like crying and everything. And when Cecil comes and gives her that sword, she was like, okay, you know what? Enough. You know, I've, I've suppressed myself enough up until now I was suppressing myself because I thought it was my mother you know and <clears throat> I was thinking I was doing this for the kingdom obviously that's not the case here this random ass person you know a random ass monster is doing all of this to destroy our kingdom so why the hell should I suppress myself for that <laughs> which is true you know like you're like what the hell like what have I been doing all of these for I was I was trying to like you know keep myself you know, like restrained, didn't really say anything, didn't protest about anything, because I thought you were my mother, and you're not my mother, and you're trying to destroy the kingdom. So, like, you know, like, ooh, like, what the hell? And so she's like, yeah, enough is enough. You know, like, and she just took up the baseball bat. This part was hilarious when that <laughs> when that minister comes in. Like, he didn't expect, he, he's accustomed to um, the princess always being docile and, like, you know, quiet. So he didn't expect it. That's why he was so damn bold. And he just started walking towards the princess and started prattling on like a, like a complete idiot because he wasn't expecting that. And the princess took that opportunity to whack him good in the head. <laughs> you know, that was one of the most stupidest things I've ever seen. How he just, without any bodyguards, he just started walking towards the princess. Like I said, he didn't expect the princess to suddenly <laughs> turn towards him and just start smacking him with a baseball bat. <laughs> you know that's why he was so overconfident oh boy yeah <clears throat> anyways that was that and then the princess like obviously the princess is wearing Harley's makeup and she then talks to the people and tells them not to be afraid <sighs> everything will be okay you know that that whole section yeah, so that was the other part that I wanted to discuss about. Um, right, it's funny because, you know, it's interesting because <laughs> Harley didn't go. <laughs> Harley made no, I thought she would at least going to, she's at least going to say something like, what the hell, like, why is she wearing my makeup or something? You know, but she, she said nothing. She literally said nothing. She was just quiet. You know, she, she was just concerned about her own, like, you know, hairstyle and her own makeup. And when, when the princess was like, you know, saying all of that stuff and when Deadshot is like, what the hell, like, why is she, she's taking, like, you know, she, she, she decided to make the worst person her role model. <laughs> the education system has failed her. <laughs> when she, they were saying all of that stuff, Harley wasn't even commenting on it, didn't even see that. She, she was like, oh, well, like, can I, do you have a mirror? I want, to, I want to see my face, you know, I can see if my makeup is okay or not. <laughs> right. Yeah, and that was today's episode. That was really good, you know. Um, yeah, 
let's wait and see what happens in the next episode um which is the final episode obviously i'm assuming like here's what i think what's going to happen like hmm. It's, it's pretty obvious, like, you know, they're going to fight, they're going to defeat the enemies, you know, somehow they, like, you know, they will save that girl who has been taken captive, and once that happens, Enchantress and Katana will probably go against the, the, the queen, the Lich Queen, and, uh, you know, because they won't have anything else, any other reason to listen to them. No, you know what, wait a minute, maybe I'm misunderstanding something. Wait, wait, scratch that. I'm just assuming that, um... Katana lured. No, she. Wait a minute. She did lure them, didn't she? She was like, yeah. She's the one who who didn't really attack Clayface. You know, for a moment I was thinking maybe Katana wasn't the one who lured them in, and she followed them and came across this part, this scene. But no, I'm pretty sure they were following Katana, and Katana's the one who lured them into this place. You know what, I'm not sure about Katana though, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I, think, I think there's a 50% chance she's, she's also working along with the Enchantress and she's also listening to the Queen because of this hostage situation. But there's a high possibility that's not the case and something else is going on with her. You know, so I'm not 100% sure about her. But obviously Enchantress's situation is pretty damn obvious. She's doing all of this because of this person being captured and, she, and taken as hostage. So yeah, <clears throat> anyways, yeah. What I was saying was, I, I'm assuming, and this is how this is going to go, they were going to be fighting, Clayface and Rick will probably somehow save this person, and once that happens, Enchantress will have no reason to listen to the Queen anymore, not sure, like I said, not sure about Katana though, I'm not 100% sure what her intentions are, you know, based on the, you know, if, if she's actually working with Enchantress, she'll also deflect, and you know, and will fight, start fighting against the Queen. Uh, after that happens, you know, by the end of it, we'll probably be able to defeat the queen, you know, and uh, things will be done over there. The princess, princess. What's her name? Fiona or Fiona? <clears throat> she will take the throne after that, and because she's, you know, she'll take the throne, she'll probably make a good, um, I guess you could say, like a like an alliance with Harley and her crew, and. Amanda will be happy and then I don't know will she let the suicide squads come back you know will they will she disconnect the the bomb I don't know you know maybe she has some other plans maybe she'll be like okay this is just the beginning you know this is the prologue of <laughs> what you're supposed to do now you're you'll be staying over here and you will be I don't know like maybe you know you'll be like diplomats for representing us or something like that she'll say i don't know what she's planning or if she's planning on conquering this place who know i don't think so if she's if she was planning on like you know like conquering this place and you know getting um her hands on this place she wouldn't tell us to cooperate with them she'd just say that oh like go and wipe them out you know the fact that she's not saying that things may, makes me think she has some other plans and uh, she just wants to make it like an alliance with them and you know some kind of uh and then like as they said like you know as, as she said like resources and stuff she wants from here so maybe like you know they'll come up with some kind of a deal she'll be like okay you give us resources we'll give you these type of things which you cannot find here and they'll come to an agreement and we'll have like a business partnership or whatever that's possible you know and like i said there is a part of me that is thinking maybe she's doing all of this just so that by the end of she can get her hands on this place and just become a tyrant, start conquering this place, you know, and, and you know, get his, her hands on this place. But I don't know, if that was her plan, I don't think she would go through this roundabout way to do all of this. I'm, I'm not really sure. She would just order them to destroy everyone and just take control of everything. You know, the fact that they're trying to, Amanda's trying to at least, you know, like, help them and, you know, so that like make a positive relation with them makes me think this is maybe this might be some kind of a business deal she's planning or something <clears throat> i don't know we'll see but yeah that is highly that's that's a big possibility that you know in the end when harley and the squad will be like oh finally job done you know let's go back let's go back to earth and amanda's like nope 
you ain't going anywhere. You'll be staying here and you will be, <laughs> you will be working for me as like the representatives of this place or whatever. Now, that's going to happen if they plan on making a season two of Suicide Squad Isekai. I don't know if that's going to be happening. So if that happens, then there's a high, high possibility that our squad will not be going back tomorrow. They'll be staying here. <laughs> Amanda's going to <laughs> say something like that and she'll be like, oh, you're not coming back unless and until, you know, you're able to make friends with some other like group or whatever. I don't know. Like, yeah, like. Something like that. We'll see. Um, anyways, and that's today's episode. Okay, now let me talk about this episode scene by scene. In the very first scene, we get to see Cecil is in front of this big, like, knight, like, armor and something, something like that. And he's standing there and uh, looking at the thing and he's thinking, like, oh, this is, is this what knights are supposed to be? This and that. He's, he's lamenting on his powerlessness and then suddenly this freaking guy this minister guy comes in with the thinker's cap on his head and he's like oh like you know <laughs> it's, 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 it's like you've betrayed us and he's like, oh no i'm not betraying you guys you know like this is just what her majesty wants i'm just following orders yeah anyways so that's what happens over there while over here the princess has figured out that this is not her mother this is some random person random monster who is in the form of the queen so you know the princess is like where's mother and she's like oh i we just i disposed of her or something like that now i was thinking there's a possibility that she's just being possessed and after that and after we're able to get rid of this person the queen will be back again but i uh, know that's not the case she so she literally said that she killed her um something like that Either way, and she's like, oh, I, I took this form because it's easier to act as the queen and manipulate everyone. Um, the princess tries to attack her, but obviously, like, you, you cannot really do anything in this situation. You're just a normal human being. So she gets easily overwhelmed. And, uh, you know, but thankfully, Cecil comes in in the nick of time, attacks her, rescues the princess. And, uh, you know, and he calls her the undead king or something like that. He says, where's that part? Damn imposter, who are you? Yeah. And she, there you go. She takes the form, her original form, and he says, like, the undead king. Yeah. So, like I said, she, she seems like a lich. Like, you know, as, as he said, like an undead king or queen. And, you know, she has the control of all the undead. And, you know, that's why a lich, I'm assuming. Anyways. Um, so here she reveals that the more people fight and kill each other, the more her power gets, which makes sense. Obviously, if she controls the undead, then the more death will happen, the more powerful she'll get because she can literally control them, you know. So that is why she deliberately, and you know, she became the queen so that it is, it's easier for her to make more death. And that's why she's been manipulating everyone <sighs> up until now and making them fight amongst each other so that you know the death toll increases and her power gets more and more so yeah and here Cecil is also pissed because you know as as is as as we know her fiance also got um uh got into this mess and she also lost her life because of this so you know Cecil could have easily just lost control and tried to attack her just like the princess did but Cecil knew better so he's like nah like you know I'm doing that uh, so he I don't know what he did he did like some kind of a flash kind of thing took the princess and ran away and the and the, the queen is like god damn it he didn't fall for my provocation um yeah so then we have taken shelter in this in, in princess's room and Cecil gives her this sword this golden sword um not sword but like a dagger kind of thing you know and this is where you can see that uh, the princess is like you know like i've been doing all of this because it was my mother i thought i was doing this for the people but if that's not the case why am i restraining myself you know why have i been doing the, all of this so she goes in front of the mayor and you know 
there you go and then after that the, the the minister comes in like i said the minister was too damn confident he in not in his wildest dreams did he think <laughs> the princess is going to act like that so he was too confident so he just starts like walking towards the princess and she's he's he was trying to act over smart and everything <laughs> and the heart, uh, and the princess just turns to him and he, everyone sees that she's put on the makeup of Harley Quinn. <laughs> Seeing this, the minister was like, what the hell? <laughs> and she didn't give him time to run away. She took up the bat and smacked him in the head. And obviously, as soon as she smacked him in the head, the, the cap went down and all the other, like, you know, the people being controlled, they lost, he lost that control. And this part is hilarious, where he starts smacking <laughs> This... <laughs> This scene looks like some kind of a GTA scene where you you, you 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 knock a person out and you just start kicking him in the while he's sprawled on the ground so I start kicking him and and like smacking him with a baseball bat <laughs> This part was hilarious He she starts properly whacking him like like just <laughs> I don't know why that that cracked me up <laughs> and then you know obviously Cecil didn't realize this is happening he came out from the side from the side room he came out with the sword and he's like ah, I'm gonna get you and it's like wait what everyone's just down because you know she took care of the the, the cap the thinking cap or whatever it's called <laughs> so yeah and the princess is like god damn like she she was suppressing a lot of stress you know, I didn't realize it was this, this, like, you know, serious. <laughs> oh my god. Yo. <laughs> right. Okay, so. That was that. And, oh my, okay, so, here's the thing. This, uh, you know, the, um, the queen, the, 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 the undead queen or king. I don't know why, but her character design reminds me of someone I cannot put my finger on. You know, especially her eyes and you know her her hands which have like a like a roundish you know and then like a I don't know it reminds me of someone I cannot put my finger on anyways uh, whatever I, I I don't know her character design really reminds me of someone you know her her face especially her face her hands and like she looks like a puppet herself if you look at it like that you know like her hands and her like you know her 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 physique you know, it has like that that you know that 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 kind of like you know like what can i say like i say if you look at her hand you can see it's like round like that's i guess that's like her dress but still it's round and then it's like kind of like you know looks like a puppet um but not only that i don't know why but i, I feel like her face i've seen her face somewhere else and especially her eyes it's very familiar anyways um right oh i just realized who she reminds me of she reminds me of freaking frieza i just realized that i was like where have i seen her she reminds me of frieza you know what let me bring out frieza's dragon ball z yeah oh my god i just realized yep she, I, I i don't i don't know if you guys can see the familiarity but she reminds me of frieza you know with like i said you know her body like you know her structure you know it's like this frieza also has a structure like this if you can see you know like like this part is this like thick and then it becomes like this and looks like an hourglass more of a you know like extreme like you know hourglass figure hands as well it's like thick here and then it's like you know like her face as well it looks like Frieza's face, and and she's short as well. You know, like F F Frieza's short, isn't he? Or is he is he tall? Is, she, is he tall? I don't remember. But yeah, she reminds me of Frieza. I just it, it just clocked me now. Yep, her character design reminds me of Frieza's character design. Um, again, might be just me, but whatever. Um, right, and uh, you know that was that. So yeah, the 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 the, uh, the undead queen or the king, whatever you call him, her, um, she is using something, some kind of a like you know thing, 
to bring up all the undead. The undead are up and about. And then she's like proclaiming to everyone that, you know, like, oh, like, I have taken control. But while she's doing that, um, the princess, like, you know, starts proclaiming and says that, oh, don't listen to her. You know, everyone will be okay. Don't let her, you know, overwhelm you or fear you. Go to safety. I'll, I'll see what I can do over here. And the, the, the queen is not happy. She's like, God damn it, this pesky little girl. You know, throwing, throwing, <laughs> throwing, um, you know, like water into my hard work. Um, either way, after that, she, she uses like the water to go into the castle and the ca castle gets destroyed. You know, the, the, the croc, I think that's his name, croc. And this other leviathan, yeah. Those two starts like, you know, like just running around in the water not running but swimming around in the water and tries to attack the princess but nanawe comes in and nanawe starts fighting now nanawe mistook the princess to be harley you know which makes sense obviously like just you look at her her face and you know, with the makeup she looks like harley and she has the baseball bat as well so nanawe thought that was harley so nanawe is like I mean, trying to protect her because she thought it was he, he thought it was Harley, but then he realized it's not Harley. <laughs> He's like, Harley? Like who? Is that not you? But by that time, it's you know like the they were already fighting. He was already fighting Croc, so Croc's attention diverts from the princess to Nanawe. So they keep on fighting. Um, Right. <clears throat> okay, so while all of this is happening, the, prin uh, the queen comes in and the queen tries to use her power towards the princess, but Deadshot just shoots her, you know, and takes out her horn, but she insta regenerates again, so you know. <laughs> this part is funny because, you know, Deadshot is like, what the hell is up with the princess, you know? Like, <laughs> Like she's taking influence from the from Harley or something. Hey, what the hell did the princess go off to the deep end? <laughs> Teenage rebellion mods. And well, Harley's like, ah, someone have a mirror. Like, and I, I want to see my makeup and my hairstyle. <laughs> oh no. Right. Yeah, so all of that happens, and then you know, like they 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 start their attack from their end as well. Nanawe is fighting Croc, and uh, right, so they decide what who to do what. So um, Deadshot and Harley decide to go and fight the zombies, while no, yeah, um, while uh, what's his name? Um, Clayface and Rick, they were going. They are going to go and take care of uh, and help out the princess. You know that was like the plan. And Rick gives Harley like the walkie talkie and Harley's like, "Are you are you hiding something else from from us?" And he's like, "Nah, nothing else." Anyways, so the battle begins again. Enchantress gets called by the queen. So Deadshot and Harley are fighting against the Enchantress, and uh, you know. Over there, Nana was fighting, you know, like Croc, and while he had Deadshot, uh, not Deadshot, sorry, Peacekeeper, and uh, Rick, and Clayface, they are, you know, going towards the castle. Um, so, a lot of fighting happens here, you know, back to back, like the whole section with Nana Way happens, where uh, Croc and the Leviathan literally uses their teamwork against Nana Way and just smacks him to the ground, you know. And uh, <laughs> then thankfully before, you know, like Nanaway gets defeated, Peacekeeper comes in. This part is funny, you know. They're, they're kind of laughing. They're like, oh, who's going to save you, huh? Like, uh, <laughs> eat crap, Finhead. You have nobody watching your back if you want to mess with us. And he's like laughing. He's like, ah, ha, ha. <laughs> and then Peacekeeper's like, he does. And he's like, <laughs> he, he, he escaped, you know, like the, the flag. And he's like, America. <laughs> Yo. And then we have Harley and uh, Deadshot fighting against Enchantress. Enchantress's attacks are very strong, you know, like she's using those 
like a barrier kind of like you know things to attack and and while all of this is happening over there katana comes in fights against clayface defeats him immediately <laughs> she doesn't kill clayface and rick is like what the hell why are you not killing him and clayface is like what the hell is wrong with you you're 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 encouraging her to kill him. <laughs> and yeah, okay, so yeah, I'm I'm kind of sure here. Like she 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 lured them in. She lured them towards that place. You know, she runs away here. And yeah, and they start following her. Yeah, so she's the one who lured them there. So she knows what's going on. So okay, so I think like you know, like I was saying, I'm I'm not hundred percent sure about Katana's motives. But now I, I'm like 80% sure that her motive is also to save the hostage. You know, just like Enchantress's like, you know, goal is. So Enchantress and Katana are probably working together. Um, we'll see. Okay, and uh, then while all of this is happening, Arthur comes in and saves Harley and Deadshot. And uh, obviously Arthur has become very big, you know. And Harley's like, oh, is that you, Arthur? RT? <laughs> it took her a while to recognize him because obviously, you know, the, literally the previous day she saw the Ar Ar Arthur this small and now he's this big. <laughs> you know, so, you know, Harley's like, oh, you, you, you came back to help me? And he's like, you know, yeah, there you go. After that, uh, the battle resumes. Obviously, we have a little bit of a, a advantage against Enchantress now because Arthur can take care of uh, the fighting against her. So, you know, Arthur is like flying around using like fire, you know, like breath and stuff. And uh, Enchantress is having trouble now. And while all of this is going on, Harley realizes like, wait a minute, maybe I can do something about this situation. So the gem that she had, it's glowing. And uh, she's like, oh, this is probably magic. I have a feeling this is magic. So... She, so, I don't know how it worked, but she just, just stuck it to her gun <laughs> and it worked and she shot and, you know, Enchantress, she didn't expect this because obviously Enchantress can stop the bullets. So, like I said, if Enchantress, Enchantress just dodged the bullet, she probably would have been safe there. But she thought that, oh, you know, it's a bullet. I can just protect myself using a barrier. There's no need to dodge it. So she did that, but she didn't expect the bullet to be like loaded with magic and that's why it j just destroyed the barrier and, and got to her you know like i said she could have probably dodged that if she wanted to but she thought using a barrier is better but she didn't know that the bullet was like a like a magic infused bullet and it got her and uh, then you know like the battle continues right Okay, after that, Deadshot <laughs> meets up with Cecil and Cecil has gone crazy. He, he has gotten two guns and is like going trigger happy completely. And just <laughs> shooting around. Yo, and Deadshot is like, calm down, man. Like, like god damn it. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've seen a knight with a full plated armor, sword in one hand and two guns. <laughs> first time I've seen something like this. And he gives one gun to um, Deadshot. Yeah, and Deadshot's like, how do you like them guns, you know? And he's like, mm, it's kind of nice, you know? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll teach you later so that you don't kill your allies as well. <laughs> okay, this episode, I, I was like, I was hearing Kazuma all, all throughout, you know, whenever Cecil was talking. It, it didn't like really click me properly before but today's episode was so damn obvious you know like that this is Kazuma's voice actor you know and when he goes crazy you know like Kazuma's like, you know like that that crazy type voice comes out and it's easier to recognize him um right is <laughs> funny as hell he, he has a gun in one hand and a sword in another i've never seen anything like this before this looks like some kind of a like you know like a like a if you if you played you'll know um you know elder scrolls 5 skyrim situation where you're like you have like a sword in one hand and like magic in one hand 
and you're like doing weird stuff with it. It's literally like that. He's, he has a gun in one hand and a sword in one hand. What, what the hell happened here? <laughs> you know what? I, I guess you can make it work. You know, if, if uh, enemies are at range, just shoot them. If they're close, just slice them. You know, simple as that. <laughs> but it'll be difficult to reload though, you know. So yeah. All right. Anyways, okay, while all of this is happening, Enchantress has been hit too many times, so she falls down and Harley points the gun towards her. And this is why Harley is like, you know what, something weird is going on. Back then, when you had the chance to kill us, you're the one I think who protected us. You know, Tinker shot us, but the bullets didn't penetrate us. You used magic to dampen the shot. What the hell is wrong with you? Why, what, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? And what is your whole plan? The whole interaction with the queen as well didn't seem that, you know, seemed a bit weird. So what's happening? And this is where Harley's like, oh, wait a minute. I know that face. That's the face uh, how people look at Pudding when he's holding someone, someone hostage. So that means your situation is the same. Someone is taken, you know, as a hostage. And you're trying to, you know, like save them. And then we cut to the other scene where we get to see um, them coming across Rick and Clayface coming across a girl who looks exactly similar to Enchantress inside a dragon and like a barrier kind of thing. And you can see Katana's like looking at them and smirking. So, like I said, I think Katana lured them here. I'm not 100% sure what Katana's goal is. Either she's working together with Enchantress and they're both trying to save her, but I don't know. I, I feel like that's not Katana's goal. Katana, maybe Katana has some other goal. We'll see. Anyways, um, that was today's episode. Um, yeah, that was the penultimate episode. Next episode will be the final one. So let's see how it goes. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I can em envision how this is going to go. They will be defeating everyone, and then the princess will become the queen, and they'll come to like an, you know, like a, like a, like an, they'll become allies. And then, I don't know, if they'll be able to go back, if Amanda will let them. I don't think Amanda will let them go back. Even after completing a mission, she'll probably give them some new mission or something. And they'll be like, oh, we're stuck here in this isekai unless and until Amanda is happy and we can go back, you know. <laughs> and yeah, and that was uh, today's episode. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Oh, you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out that is it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another uh with the with the final episode of success party sekai until then goodbye and have a nice day